The Supreme Court gave former President Trump a major win today. The justices unanimously ruled that states cannot kick Trump off the presidential primary ballot for his alleged role in the January 6th riot. The decision restores his name on ballots in Colorado, Maine, Illinois. Fox News correspondent Caroline Shively is live in Washington. Caroline. Hi there, Christine. The Supreme Court ruled that Colorado had gone too far, and former President Trump will stay on the primary ballot. The decision actually applies to all 50 states and comes just one day before Super Tuesday. It was a very important decision. We're very well crafted. President Trump, usually a critic of the U.S. court system, called the justices' ruling keeping him on the Colorado ballot unifying and inspirational. I think it will go a long way toward bringing our country together, which our country needs. At the center of the case, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment bars a person who has participated in an insurrection from holding federal office. The Colorado court ruled in December that Trump was ineligible because of the alleged role he played in the Capitol riot in 2021, even though he has never been charged. Reversing that decision, the U.S. Supreme Court held responsibility for enforcing Section 3 against federal office holders and candidates rests with Congress and not the states. The entire court spoke against it, all nine. The ruling not only reverses decisions in Colorado, Maine, and Illinois, it also stops efforts in seven other states with similar court cases. If this was allowed to go forward, the Colorado's the decision to unilaterally remove the choice from the people, um, that it would create an untenable patchwork across the country. Mr. Trump faces much greater legal jeopardy next month when the justices will hear his argument that he cannot be prosecuted for trying to overturn the 2020 election because he's covered by presidential immunity. Christine and Alex, back to you. Yeah, and Caroline, uh, the thinking is that that could be opposite the other way, a, 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 a sort of unanimous decision on that, uh, right? Yes, absolutely. Trump, Trump's election interference trial was supposed to start in Washington today, Alex, but it's now stalled thanks to the presidential immunity question. Uh, that could be coming late April. The week of April 22nd is when we'll hear it, probably a ruling coming late June. Timing-wise, it could throw this whole court schedule away and maybe even hit after the election. Yeah, the court like, was likely to rule with him today and likely to rule against him in that case. What well, we will see. Caroline Shiley, thank you so much.